everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the new podcast series created by Master Show Productions, simply known as Transmission. My name is Sam Instone, and I am currently your host. Today, we shall be talking about whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> um, this is actually try. I've been trying to do the intro to this like fifty times, and because I'm not happy with it. But now, after I've done that, I would just like to be informal but honest as possible. So, Transmission is a podcast series that I've been planning for a bit, since 2011. Um, When I was still working with um, The Plastic Beach being a real plot kind of device within my stories, um, I thought that would be good to show like Osiris home um, and how it kind of takes a part in his life um, and give it to a general audience. However, that was going to be a video log. This is going to be an audio log or simply known as a log. A lot of the time now I'm going to do um, some projects in the future um, using audio and especially audio drama. And I want to try out that because it's something new and it's experience because new things get me out of my comfort zone and I'm especially not afraid to try them. This episode is called What Happened to Master Shiro Productions or simply known as Number One. I would just like to tell you what happened from where we left off. I'll give you a bit of background. Hello, my name is Seki. I'm the main content creator on this channel which was previously called Master Screwdriver. It has now been changed to Seki because I think the Master Stru- That's getting annoying to say. MP, MP, Master Screwdriver Productions, if you don't know, is going to be the production element of the channel, which is for the individual of myself. Rather than doing one separate thing, I would like to do a whole range of things, like projects, at different times, then devote an entire channel to just one focus. Club Penguin, for example. My past Club Penguin videos, fine, but I need to move on to new projects. Okay, so what happened between 2011 and 2013? And now, and now, especially now. From January, I started uh, producing and creating the exclusive comics, and they were a series of 20 videos exploring 20 unreleased, previously, previously unseen Club Penguin comics. I got a contract from someone who said he'd pay me £300, or let's just say an amount, to make these, and I said, okay. I made 20. I I thought this was going really good. Um, it proved out harder than I thought because voice actors weren't really getting anything and stuff. Um, it's not their fault. Why would it be their fault? I mean, it was pretty much the greatest thing I've ever done until now, but I had to stop because the material was lacking and everything was just going kaput. But you kind of noticed that I was slowing down because that was all I was producing. From 2012, I had promised to make a monthly vlog. I made one in January and that's it. Not the best promise keeper, I know, but I'm trying. Um, Basically, what happened was school was getting on my nerves a lot and it was taking up a lot of my time. And that's unfortunate to say, but I just like to say that because, well, I'm sorry, but work's important. So I will be off to college or university soon. So that is very scary. And that happened. But on the other hand, um, I wasn't producing at all. Um, Club Penguin videos had completely left my mind. I wasn't feeling anything at that moment. I didn't want to. I just didn't really compel to have you know the motivation of doing something and 
it's just really weird doing something but you don't really get much out of it because the contract inspired and basically your fan base kind of left you I mean there was a critical point for um Club Penguin videos and filmmaking within 2010 and 2011 but that kind of died down basically what happened was school got more busy um, I didn't have really have the time between 2012 um, to 2013 I made um, my first solo album which is called Astro and in one of my previous videos I put a link to one of those songs if you want to check it out I will give you the link in the description and it will be there um, the album was like really hard to make because it took kind of two years and mixing and editing music wasn't really my thing but skills develop so that was a really big part of it also um, I got distracted from a lot of stuff because I finally met someone and I think I wouldn't have actually come back if she didn't encourage me at all and tell me every day how great I am at making films and doing art. The gap between the hiatus, which was short, I mean, like, I did create that video in summer, but due to rendering difficulties, I did actually have to put it up in November in 2012. So I was gone on hiatus for like a year and a bit. Not an year, not like an entire year, because that would have been dumb. I made the album, I came back, I didn't know what to do with myself, I said. I like making films. I'm going into a film and TV production course at university. Yes, I am going to university. Yes, I am doing filmmaking. Why not practice and go back to my roots? So I am. I'm doing exactly that right now. And I'm going back to my club hanger roots and seeing what projects I have to finish and complete. The Oncoming Despair, which will be in a next podcast, um, that took a while to edit down the script and The Oncoming Despair Part 2, um, and 3 and 4, I wanted to finish those because Part 1 was amazing. But I didn't want to leave it at that. I wanted to complete it. I was going to leave it at part one. But no, there was more of a storyline to it. And I think the oncoming despair now links into the kind of goodbye I'm giving at the end of all this. So anyway, that's in the next vlog. What did I do um, in 2013? 2013, I went to my girlfriend's house twice. She lives in Texas. I'm looking right now at a wall I have, like, with pictures of Kaylee and I, and it's great. And, yeah, it's just, it's just cool. But, yeah, I kind of grew up and got on with life. And, you know, I miss making films, and I wanted to just give something back. And I am. Because I want to. So, what do we have now? Well, we have um, Master Trio Productions has entered a kind of new era of filmmaking. Usually, it's just been me doing it. And I said to myself this year, no, I'm going to share it out. I'm not going to, I'm going to spread out all the projects that I do. And with these new ones, I have recruited three staff members to help me out. Hopefully more, but I'm handpicking them of people who I like. And sorry, but if I trust you enough to know what you're doing is well and good, then yeah, you can jo join, but I need to see some of your stuff. Anyway, we have got, amazingly, three new staff members, and they're absolutely brilliant. We have my friend Aiden, who should be here today, 
on the podcast. Um, he, Aiden is a co-writer and assistant producer of MP. But yes, we're calling MP now because more formal. Um, yeah, so Aiden's an assistant producer and co-writer. And I'm going to get him on writing the final script that I intend to write um, for this whole kind of Club Penguin thing. Because it's getting a bit old and I don't want to do any more. But, you know, kind of got to. Because um, I want to, and you'll see later on why. Um, but, like... Aiden, I met Aiden in 2012 and we got talking and we were gonna work on an animated series called Dimwits but we never did because the summer was basically me just prattling around with animation and it wasn't really working so we kind of dropped it but we might pick it up at some point we might pick up in the original idea at some point and give it to someone else um, but it was from um, 2012 to November where I asked him would you like to help me with stuff? Would you like me to help? Would you like to help me with my own thing? And he said yes. Aiden is now helping me writing scripts and he is going to co-produce The Oncoming Despair. Brilliant! Um, more on that in the next vlog. Next vlog, it will be me interviewing Aiden on how he came to terms with the whole YouTube community and how he got here and what he does and just you guys meeting Aiden for the first time. So, there is also Kaylee, who I told you about earlier. Uh, she is one of the most amazing young artists I have ever met of all time. And if you just give her a painting, digital art to do, collage, whatever, she'll just absolutely kill it and it'll be great and only few people could make something as good as her and she's really good. She just has this ongoing passion for creativity and making things like me and that's kind of how we connected we both wanted to do stuff and now it's cool I really need to stop saying cool because cool isn't a cool word and cool is drag but most recently we have a graphics designer to MP and I have no idea what he's capable of but but it's gonna be weird having someone who's better at special effects than me because I used to do everything and I'm just splitting up jobs like I'm giving Kaylee background art to do for animation on the film and Aiden writing I mean I don't know how to react to that but this new guy Josh visual effects guy um <sighs> I said graphics design I get the two confused um he was like he did so little and it impressed me so much and I think with him he's a really key opportunist and I'd like to work with him a lot and the best thing about him is because Aiden comes from Michigan and Kaylee comes from Texas he comes from Windsor which is right next to me so he can come to my house as many times as we want and I've never had that as a production leader with any any clients I've worked with so that they just come to my house and do stuff I've always had to ask people on the internet because no friends so basically with the new name with the new channel we've changed and we're going to change a lot more I mean every week or so we're gonna upload an, a podcast of transmission so that's gonna be fun yet kind of daunting because I need to work and I kind of need to put work first as a priority rather than this. But it takes about 20 minutes of my time. I'm not going to work 20 minutes flat out on anything else. So why not? I might do it. But no, hopefully that this um, 
clarifies a lot of things with you. So I'm sorry for going on a really short hiatus, but I just moved on and it was time for me to grow up a little. But I wanted to come back. I wanted to come back to the thing I loved doing, which was making films. And I'd just like to thank everyone for listening and staying in tune with all the recent updates. And I think the 300 people who watched the new intro. It's, it's kind of weird with your views going from thousands to hundreds, but you know, any number will kind of do because you don't care, and I definitely don't, and it's just really nice to just see people still care and kind of want to watch the really badly made <laughs> videos I do. But no, um, guys, thank you so much for listening. You're absolutely brilliant, all of you. Um, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for leaving you, and I am back, and I'm going to do a much better job this time than I've ever done, ever before. But this time I'm not going to do it all by my own. I'm going to have a lot of help. Um, a lot of help from people I love, people I like. I'm just going to feel really close and at home with this project and it's going to be really good. So the next podcast will um, be me interviewing the newest member of Master Air Productions, Aiden. We will do it as soon as we can, but for now it is adios. That's kind of like the cutting out of a transmission. Oh no, I just said it! Whoa!